experience from working at the original Spago. Takes you behind the scenes at the most famous restaurant in Hollywood. And joining us now with more is Chicago area author Julie Laurent. Thank you for coming in. Uh, thanks for having so me. So this book has been many years in the making. Many. <laughs> but my first question is, did they really eat? I didn't think people in Hollywood <laughs> ate. Oh, they eat. They do. They oh, do okay. eat. Okay. You get food. This was the first time that fusion, well, you know, this is the early 90s. Yeah. And so recently I went to a restaurant and they had like a, uh, it was an Irish pub and they had like a corned beef and cabbage egg roll with yeah. a wasabi yeah. Thousand Island. That's a bunch of fusion right there. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, But this was back when it was really starting and he was one of the first. So it's almost like you couldn't help but just be so Talking intrigued. about Wolfgang Puck. Yeah. yeah, Wolfgang Puck. Like you, the things he was coming up with, nobody was doing at the time. And people would flock in whether they were famous or not um, to just try it, to see what, what it was. So what did you do at the restaurant? I was the uh, front of the house. Front of the house. Yeah. Okay. All so right. you had to deal with all the people. All the people. <laughs> That's great. And all the people that would get mad when they couldn't have a seat with the celebrities and uh -huh. the people that, you know, we had to stop. I have a story in here about having to stop a, a autograph hound from basically doing army crawls under the tables to try to get to Johnny Carson to get his autograph. Like, oh, really? and I ran around and headed her off at the pass, but it was like, you know, we saw people like almost doing the wave. And I was like, wait, what was, oh, something's going on. <laughs> so we ran over there to oh, stop wow. it. Oh my goodness. And you almost get into a fight with Brigitte Nielsen. Oh, Tell my us about gosh. that. Okay, I'm gonna use the word allegedly. <laughs> I think she allegedly wanted to beat me up, but you know, back then, her and Sylvester Stallone were like, you know, the king and queen, yeah, right? Yeah. And you remember how she got him as a husband, she mailed him pictures of herself without clothing. Easy to do now on your phone, right. but mm -hmm. that, it was intentional back then. Right. You know, you had to do a lot of work. But um, they were coming in and they were so, you know, just vivacious and gregarious and beautiful. And then they break up. Ugh. And so Sylvester Sloan, obviously A-list back then, right. number one. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was coming in the night they broke up and she called like a couple, like an hour or so before we opened to say, or her people did, Bridget Nielsen's coming in. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, like, cause you have to really juggle where you're sitting people to the Hollywood hierarchy that, that oh. exists within this place, you know? Um, so she comes in and I start taking her to the table that Bernard, the maitre d' picked. And she's supposed to go to the left with the A-list where all the twinkling lights and the beautiful people and the you know beautiful tables are. But when she saw me flank right to the C-list area. Oh, they oh, knew. All the happiness, like was the nice face that she puts on for the world was gone. And she towered over me um, and put her shoe on top of mine. Ooh, and really? basically was like, Ivan Drago's wife was just looking me down oh. and she's like, this is not my table. And I was like, ah, uh, and Bernard, the maitre d', I think he kind of just saw what was going on and he ran over. He's like, oh, I have another table. I forgot to tell Julie, but well, and that probably got him about $200, $300 worth of a tip. tip right? Mm -hmm. So in the end, I was just a pawn maybe, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> but, man. but it was like juggling that every night, those oh type gosh. of personalities and big you know, names and people, but also Wolfgang really wanted the people that, that were just coming to visit LA that wanted to try his food. He wanted to make sure that they were taken care of too. That they had a space. Yes. What do people get from this book that they didn't really know about LA before? Okay, uh, quite a bit because it's, you know, there's the glamor and right. the fame and all of that. But, you know, it's, it's a very interesting hierarchy, like I was saying. And just the stories, the things that I was privy to seeing at the time, yeah. you know, and I could never tell these stories before because honestly, when you work there, National Enquirer, Star, all these people are coming after you. They want to offer you money to be their inside informant, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? And so I've never really told a lot of these stories, but what people I think see is just the humanity. Yeah. Like really celebrities, they're doing their job mm -hmm. and they're very good at what they do, whether it's acting, music, writing, you know, like you guys are wonderful at interviewing oh, and yeah. hosting <laughs> a show, right? And this is your job. But when you go out, you want to hang with your friends, have some dinner. If you go through a breakup, you want to have a few drinks and commiserate about it. Right. And so that's, I think, with putting the humanity into uh, the celebrity so stories. So why tell it now? COVID. <laughs> honest. There you honest. Go. What else are we going to do two years right. of lockdown? But also I had told people these stories like about Bridget Nielsen. They're like, you need to write all these stories down. And yeah. then I, when COVID hit, I was like, well, and I activated my subconscious and 
to be honest, you got to tell your stories. You got to tell them. You got to tell yeah. them. They go away. And, and it helps people understand who you are as a person, too, when they understand you. Well, oh, julielaurent.com is the webpage where you can find out more information about the book, where to find it, and all that stuff. Fascinating stuff, Julie, though. So thank oh, you. Thank you so much for having Thanks me. Thanks for yeah, sharing. Yeah, really fun.